past life reading and in this kit so we're going to look at who you potentially were in a past life what your purpose was and biggest lesson and how that might be flowing through into your current incarnation so before we jump into that cancer just to let you know if you want to book a personal reading or healing you will find the link to my website and the offerings below this video as well as the link to learn tarot with me through the initiation my immersive learn tarot journey which the doors are always open okay guys I have got six tarot positions here which I'm going to clarify as I go I have got a couple of oracle cards and a lead tarot energy but can I just say look at these cards like if you're familiar with tarot and you know about like all of the best cards like this is this is amazing guys this is like the most one of the most positive extremely high vibrational energies that is coming through so what is immediately coming through to me is some kind of um, change catalyst some kind of almost like enlightened being energy because this is like a very very like high vibration you may be in this lifetime now really to just experience because um, you know without getting ego involved this this is an energy of somebody who you know has almost learnt lessons and is really just here to to hold the light in this lifetime so I'm feeling into like whether you've heard of the 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 waves the three waves of volunteers that have incarnated um, on this plane at the moment one of the, those roles is really just to hold a high vibrational energy through experiencing you other people will shift and awaken as well so we've got a real light worker energy here let's see how this plays out now in your yogic path cards here cancer i've got kapha and pitta and you know of the whole deck you know some of them are made up of these ayurveda cards some of them are about you know gods and goddesses and deities but it's interesting that you've got two of the ayurveda cards Kapha, which is the earthy dosha, which is about being grounded and, you know, of the earth and, and heavy and grounded within yourself and your body. And we've got Pitta, the fire element, okay? Action, fire, di being dynamic, energetic. So we've got earth and fire. So I'm already feeling into this kind of base metal into gold, alchemist energy. And we have the magician here. So I'm really feeling like this, this kind of transformation transformational change agent kind of energy and then on top of that your lead tarot energy is death right that scorpionic energy which in this particular card we see a metamorphosis we see the the kundalini shakti the snakes the serpent here um, so I'm kind of feeling that either you had had a spiritual awakening um, in the past or that maybe in this lifetime you will. There are many different types of awakening, of course, but we have this real transformative energy, one where you are ready to release maybe the, you know, the kapha energy, which is maybe the, you know, the materialism, the consumerism, the, 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 the assets that kind of thing and really focus on the more subtle energies fire you know the ele elemental energies is what I'm really feeling so really interesting energy death and rebirth metamorphosis really really awakening to the subtle energies is what I'm feeling here so who were you in a past life cancer wheel of fortune um, this is associated with karma, with luck, with change. So I'm kind of feeling into the energy of you helped other people change and transform their lives in some way. Now, what kind of person could do that? A counselor, a healer, minister is something that is coming through. It's that real kind of energy of turning things around. Maybe you helped people turn things around in their lives that comes through with the seven of wands and the seven of wands for me is an energy of struggle so it could have been you could have been in a role where you helped people overcome their sense of personal struggle go through their own awakening or metamorphosis through the healing art through um, almost like preaching or sermon of positive speech that kind of thing helping other people get into alignment to to stay in their karmic timeline is what is coming through there so Really, really interesting energy, guys. Um, the next position that I have here is life purpose, Ten of Cups. Yeah, your life purpose was, you know, to achieve the higher elevate 
elevations of vibrational energy. The Ten of Cups is one of my um, best life energies. It's about having a blessed life, beautiful family, enough assets. But on a spiritual level, it's really about, you know, ascension energy. So I think part of your life purpose in your previous life was to go through soul ascension or a really um, pivotal step on your own spiritual spiritual journey here comes in with the two of swords so the two of swords is interesting because for me it's this energy of two paths you know which path are you going to walk are you going to work, walk the, the the earthly path or are you going to walk the spiritual path so I feel that you may at some point in your life have made the decision to walk the spiritual path and I'm going to focus on happiness, ascension, you know, all the things that matter and definitely less of a focus on, you know, things like um, money and and resources and that kind of thing. We've got no pentacles in this reading, but what we do have here is uh, like all this powerful major arcana, a 10 and an ace. So it's really, really like alchemical, alchemical, energy here so I think that your life purpose was to to choose the path of ascension rather than the, the the earthly path as much of course you were still a spiritual being having an earthly existence but um you know there was probably more of a focus on that and generally because when we when we reincarnate sometimes we kind of do the opposite in the next life you are obviously a spiritual person because you're watching tarot readings and that kind of thing but you might have more of a lesson in this life around you know dealing with the more of the mundane like earning the money you know being grounded not getting too much up into the spiritual energies okay so your life lesson you know what was your biggest learning well, we've got the star and I feel like this carries through into this life and what I was just saying actually is that you now have this energy of staying in earth, coming back to, to the grounding here is what I'm really feeling. But, you know, we see the seven white stars in this card which are said to link to, to the chakras and then we have the divine guidance here. So one of your biggest life lessons was to you know, awaken the chakras, awaken to your true divine, and it's about faith. So you had a life lesson around living your faith, living through faith, you know, really being out there in that vulnerability as well. And um, the star is also a healing energy. So I feel like there was an energy around healing yourself and healing others as well. I've got the King of Wands here. Yeah, so the King of Wands is interesting because the King of Wands is is the is the entrepreneur energy, is that fire energy as well. So there could have been a life lesson around, you know, as I said, the two different paths, stepping away from that one and into the more subtle realms here of the star energy. There is also life lessons around manifestation here. It could have been, you know, stepping into the role of a powerful manifester as well. Um, that is most definitely coming through. I think it, that you were somebody who really worked with the elemental energies, the moon energy and that kind of thing. So you were more sort of, you know, you know, working with that energy rather than being of this earth. So what do you need to leave behind? Ace of Cups, that's interesting. What do you need to leave behind from this past life? With, you know and maybe not let it carry over too much into this life and that's the ace of cups the ace of cups can be an energy of transformation living oh the tower living purely from your emotions and it comes in with the tower so this is interesting because the tower is about stability and security and building foundations so I think it's saying that in this life here you need to focus more on the tangible the practical okay the earth energy and maybe leave behind you know really just focusing on too much of the you know the emotional aspects and the spiritual aspects you can still absolutely integrate that but you're actually here to build some towers in this life to build some solid thing to come to come back down to earth here is what I'm really feeling and maybe leave behind that need to really be that change catalyst all the time. So that's what I'm sensing in those energy there, guys. Now, why did you incarnate as yourself now? We've got the magician. 
So there's still that inner alchemist is, is alive and well in there. And the lovers. Yeah, so you're, why did you incarnate as yourself now, the magician? Well, you are really learning in this life here that you have the power to create. You can actually manifest everything that you want in this lifetime and it comes in with the, the lovers. So I think, you know, what you're here to create is to manifest deep partnership, um, you know, a beautiful soul partnership with somebody. And that is a really important thing for you in this life. Whereas before it was more about being up in the spiritual realms and maybe more of the relationship with God and the divine. Here, your life purpose is about earthly relationships, creating towers, creating a home, creating that sense of security, you know, working on love, maybe, maybe using all of that knowledge of the past to you might actually be you know helping other people transform in some way from a more earthly perspective like psychology or maybe you're someone that people really go to you have a lot of potential in that way of helping people work with their relationships and a message from your past life self we've got the sun and for me that is a, such an energy of rebirth guys well what is that and the chariot wow so this is an energy of victory and your past life self is saying that it's through you know liberation it is through sometimes stepping beyond your comfort zones that you really can find that true freedom your past life self is saying that no one can tether you and even though you might feel like that at times that you are always free and it's also saying don't forget your childlike nature don't forget that you are a spiritual being having an earthly existence and remember that you know being grounded to the earth and being in the human body is a huge part of that so not to get lost in in the spirituality as well um, this is a real energy of positivity. You have such a positive life energy here as well. And I feel that, you know, you still have this ability to spread joy and positivity to others and help them awaken to truth as well. You know, you are really determined to overcome obstacles and heal things within yourself in this life. So, and of course, the sun links to Leo. You have two cards of Leo here and fire energy. So this is a, a lifetime where it's about taking action, it is about creating, it is about manifesting your hopes, dreams and wishes. So, and I feel like they are very tangible, like building that home, creating that business, having that beautiful family life. I feel like a lot of your role in this life is to make that happen and to really live that, that earthly existence with the spiritual knowledge that you're coming into this life with. Okay, Cancer, well, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this past life reading. Something different, something deeper. Keeping in mind, it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not resonate for you. Um, feel free to drop me a comment. Um, I love interacting with you guys over there and getting to know you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out, guys. It helps support the channel and helps me bring these readings to you, as does liking and sharing the video. Um, I will be back here for plenty more readings, including the weekly reading which I release every week so look out for those do take care bye for now